Welcome to our lecture series on disaster readiness and risk reduction. Today, we'll explore the vulnerabilities of different elements exposed to hazards, how physical, social, economic, and environmental factors influence the impact of disasters. Our most essential learning competency is to recognize the vulnerabilities of different elements exposed to specific hazards. Understanding these vulnerabilities helps us prepare better and reduce risks in our communities. Vulnerabilities refer to the weaknesses or limitations of people, places, or systems that make them more susceptible to damage when exposed to hazards. These vulnerabilities vary depending on the type of hazard and the characteristics of the exposed elements. There are four main types of vulnerabilities, physical, social, economic, environmental. Let's explore each one in detail, starting with physical vulnerability. Physical vulnerability refers to how the built environment and population characteristics affect exposure to hazards. Key factors include population density. More people in one area means higher risk. Settlement location. Areas near fault lines, coastlines, or floodplains are more vulnerable. Site design and materials used. Poor construction increases risk during earthquakes or typhoons. During Typhoon Yolanda, school buildings at Up Visayas were destroyed due to poor structural resilience. In the 1990 Baguio earthquake, high population density contributed to the number of fatalities and injuries, leading to a decrease in population. Social vulnerability is about how people and communities respond to hazards. Factors include the inability of individuals or organizations to prevent or respond effectively. The influence of social structures, cultural values, and behaviors on disaster outcomes. Examples of social vulnerability include disrupted communication lines during typhoons, which delay emergency response. Transport system failures, like flooded roads and broken bridges. Delivery challenges, such as food and medicine shortages, and the spread of diseases due to poor infrastructure. Economic vulnerability refers to how financial resources affect a community's ability to prepare for and recover from disasters. Key factors. The economic status of individuals, communities, and nations. Poorer communities are more vulnerable because they lack resources for disaster preparedness and recovery. During the COVID-19 pandemic, low-income and informal workers were hit hardest due to lack of job security and healthcare access. In terms of earthquakes, the Philippines is more vulnerable than Japan because of limited economic resources. Japan's advanced engineering and preparedness make it more resilient. Environmental vulnerability is about how natural and human-made changes to the environment affect disaster risk. Factors include depletion of natural resources, human activities like deforestation and burning fossil fuels, which increase the risk of disasters like landslides and climate change-related events. Examples include the absence of trees, which can lead to landslides and flash floods, mangroves, which act as natural barriers protecting coastal communities from tidal waves and tsunamis. Preserving these ecosystems is crucial for disaster risk reduction. In conclusion, understanding the vulnerabilities of different elements, physical, social, economic, and environmental, is key to reducing the impact of natural hazards. By recognizing these factors, we can build safer, more resilient communities. Thank you so much.